Well, Marla, the tornado tossed cars and debris, including one owned by a weather pro, the Weather Channel. It was Mike Bettis and his crew. Once a Popa woman who was connected to Bettis tells me her heart stopped when she realized strong winds flipped the car. She says at that moment she didn't know what to think or if they were alive. As owner of Scott's Tasty Burgers in Sepulpa, Pam Hamilton meets and serves nearly 100 people daily. Everybody smile. So when Weather Channel's Mike Bettis and his crew walked into her restaurant for lunch, she was clearly excited. <laughs> Super nice guys. Pam even has a special connection with Bettis. Her son works with him at the Weather Channel. Still, the two haven't met until now. Pam took pictures with the Bettis crew and even took photos in front of their storm chasing SUV. I had just seen it that day and I just I just couldn't believe it. Little did she know, hours later, that same vehicle would be in a serious accident involving Mike Bettis and his crew. It was a nightmare that, it, you know, it's there and now it's gone. Raw video footage shows Bettis and his team rushing to get behind the twister. What we're trying to do is just get away from it, uh, get the south side of it and, and stay away from it. It was too late as a tornado threw the vehicle an estimated 200 yards with Bettis and his crew inside. My life flashed before my eyes. I mean, it was like we were just floating and then we were tumbling. I mean, we tumbled I don't know how many times. Once it finally stopped, Bettis was left without words. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. I mean, that was the scariest moment of my life. When Pam got the news, she panicked, but she's happy they're alive. I wanted to make sure everybody was okay, but I knew, you know, I mean, when they did say on the news that, you know, everyone was all right, then I knew everything was okay. And the Weather Channel says Mike Bettis and one crew member are okay, and they walked away from that banged-up vehicle you saw with only minor injuries. However, the third passenger remains in the hospital. Rico Bush, 2 News, works for you.